Why hello everybody, Spencer here, also known as LEGO Dude 11, and in today's video, this is my Borderlands spoiler review. So without further ado, let's discuss. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm making this video for you guys, and I'm doing it without notes here. Oh my gosh, I know, it's so, so, so surprising. I've done it before, but what's special about today is I'm trying to make a quick review so I could do, go do other things for today. I am making this one. I saw the movie yesterday, and I'm not really sure what to make of it. It's a very odd movie. And what I mean by that is I, I don't have any notes here because I just have thoughts going through my mind like, huh? like I, I don't know, I didn't know like what to put down because I just, I just want to talk about stuff. Um, for instance, this is a movie that's based off of a video game, but okay, okay, okay. So I saw the Rotten Tomato score come out the Thursday of the movie. So normally how this works is Rotten Tomato scores are put out, I hate, I love using Rotten Tomatoes. I hate using Rotten Tomatoes for TV shows. Going there because rot because normally people use it for their initial reactions, but movies are way better because they're put out in theaters and like, oh, okay, this is what the general consensus thinks. TV shows are either weekly or like for Umbrella Academy, you have to watch all the episodes at a certain point, and if you haven't seen all the episodes yet, you just see like one. That's what you're getting. You don't get the entire show, so it's bad. But this, for like Deadpool and Wolverine, the score was put out like a week before, so it was certified fresh, and it was a high rating. Spider-Man No Way Home, same type of deal. But this, the day of, not, not the day of the Friday release, but the Thursday screening, so it was a day early prior to its initial release, it was a 3%. And I'm going, yikes! And because I knew that this year the Megamind sequel was bad, which was a straight to streaming Peacock movie, I knew that Madam Web was bad, and I hadn't even seen I haven't even seen Madam Web, and I don't want to. And this was this bad. I was really excited. I really loved the trailer for Borderlands. And now I knew that there wasn't any other promotion. I hadn't seen any other promotion. I saw a couple TV spots, but I hadn't seen big re wide release trailers for this. I only saw like a couple trailers. I mean, the first trailer like a couple of times. Nothing else. So I was like, huh? And then I and then it goes up from three to five to seven to nine to ten. Now it's at ten critically at fifty ten. audience. Ten critic, fifty audience. So I went to see it yesterday. What did I think? I agree. I don't agree with the ten percent. I think that's a little bit harsh. But I agree with the 50%. Um, to give you spoilers right now on my rating, I'm not going to wait till the end of the video. I think it's exactly right there. I'm just going to give it a middle of the road 50%, 5 out of 10 stars. 5 out of 10. Um, that's what I think. I, it ge like Genuinely speaking, this is not the best thing I've ever seen, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It definitely, like, it, Morbius is worse than this. I think that if I watch Madam Web, be worse. Madam Web would be worse. It, it's something like it, the Emoji Movie is definitely worse. Now, I'm, I'm not comparing animation to this. Like, it, it, the Emoji Movie is just bad animation, bad story. But th this has entertainment. This has good narrative going for it. It's just I think the way it's presented and told, it doesn't work. It works in the way of a a group team up and this plot device, but I think the main issue is as I was watching it, like I'm not well versed in Borderlands and the knowledge. I was, I, I like the concept, I like the world building, like the landscape and everything. But let me tell you, I think what the director Eli Roth, I love, I like, I saw House with his clock in its walls, I thought that was fun. I saw the Thanksgiving movie, I thought that was dope. But this, which may, maybe, ha maybe he has respect for the video game, I don't know, I don't know why he decided to do it. Who knows what the reason was it for? What, what? Who knows what the reason behind it was? But I'm going. Something about this feels off. Even me, I haven't played the game. I I played The Last of Us. I love this show. 
I never played Fallout, but the Fallout show was holy moly amazing. And this just felt that the world wasn't correct. Um, now, 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 let me let me stop my rant here a little bit and talk about the f exciting that Kevin Hart. Like sometimes there were little jokes that fell flat from Kevin Hart or Jack Black. My dad said, and I'm like, okay, I was laughing a little bit. Kate Blanchett, I, I don't know. I think she was might have probably the weakest one. I think she was trying to be the lead, Kate Blanchett, while being a little bit bland. Maybe that, like I was watching it going. I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, but I think she felt a little bland, a little stale. And not that her actor, acting's bad, I think just in this film it does not work. For me. I, and maybe some of you liked it. Maybe uh, maybe you guys agree with me. Um, but then there's Ariana Greenblatt. We gotta talk, we gotta talk, well, Cape Blanchett's been in the Marvel. The guy in the mask who is Krieg in the movie, I forget his real name. I'll, I, I remember if I see it. It's like a Russian dude or something. He was in Shang-Chi and in Creed 3 he was the Razor Fist guy in uh, Shang-Chi, but Ariana Greenblatt, who is young Gamora in Marvel and young Ahsoka in the Ahsoka show, and she was the girl in Barbie, and she was in 65, and she was young Velma in Scoob, lots of good stuff she's been in, and I was really excited to see her in this, and I think she's the, I think she's the, the soul of this movie, she really brings the heart, she really brings the, the, the life to this movie, if she was not here, I think this movie well, the fact that it's kind of already bombing, I think it wouldn't work. That's how I feel. When as I was watching, I was going, she's the best part of this movie. Ariana Greenblatt is the best part of this movie. And I don't mean to sound so excited, but I like her as an actress. I think and I I think she girl I think the girl's really cute, not to be weird. I think the girl's really cute, really great. I can't wait to see where she where she goes in the future. But the but the but the lying factor is she was the best part of the movie. Her character her acting, everything. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'd watch it again just for her. I, it, like, that's that's my point of view. Like, I think that if the, if she... Here it goes. If she wasn't... Sorry. If she wasn't in the film, I be, wouldn't be watching it again. I would have still gone to the theater to watch it because I knew the trailer was awesome. If she was in the trailer, eh, it's debatable. I think because uh, she was in the trailer, I really wanted to go see it. But... The fact that I liked it so much with her in it is another reason I'm gonna I would like to watch it again streaming or however I get it. From from you know, doing it from finding it elsewhere. But I just I just liked I didn't I didn't love the movie itself. I was entertained because of her and how the characters work together. But other than that, man, it, it felt like a ripoff of a guy. I think it's the most uh, best way possible, most positive way possible. It felt like a ripoff of Guardians of the Galaxy. Not that Guardians of the Galaxy are bad, not that they can't copy things. But hey, listen, I love Marvel as much as the next guy possible, as much as the next guy possible, but I say that a lot, as much as the next guy. But don't copy cinematic universes. Just don't. Like the, the, you, We all know that DC, EU copied Marvel Cinematic Universe with Man of Steel and then went from, from then on forwards. And now, they're, now James Gunn is uh, rebooting the DC universe. Good. I like it. But... Why would Eli Roth go, hey, you know that movie called Guardians of the Galaxy? And if, if this movie honestly had, like, that Suicide Squad, James Gunn version, plus uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, plus Avengers, no, not Avengers, um, plus Mad Max. And I was like, oh, okay. I like Mad Max, don't get me wrong. But I was like, okay. I'm like, well, okay. Um... I don't know. I think the other thing is, I was watching the trailers going, expecting something different. And don't get me wrong, I had a great time at the movies with this. I just don't know what I watched. The, the, some of the fight scenes were great. Fight scenes were great to watch. I think the Ace of Space by Motley Crue was one of the songs in the film. I gotta go check that out after his review. But the fight scenes were great. Characters working together were fine. Um, like Kevin Hart, Jack Black, you know, Krieg. Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, I feel bad for her. I feel bad for her and Kevin Hart in this movie. Um, I just can't wait for J Jack Black in the Minecraft movie. He's going to be... I, I can't wait for that. This is going to be something else. But then at the end, like they, they take down Atlas. Now, 
like I said, I was very entertained because I, I, I wasn't really familiar with the lore, but I think that people in the video game, like the Mario movie, right? I love Mario. I thought the Mario movie was spectacular. Worked so well, way better than that original one, live action one. But this, I'm just like, even though I didn't understand it, I, I was entertained, but I'm going, I, I'm thinking that something didn't work for the people that understand the game. And I'm sure that's why. But, like, why give it such a low score? Like, I, I, I don't know. Now, again, I think the World of Warcraft movie wasn't well-perceived either, and that was kind of a... But, eh. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't really have much more else to say. It's <laughs> call it a spoiler review. Not really. They killed the guy at the end. Oh, um, Ariana Greenblatt wasn't the key. It was Kate Blanchett's character. She got Phoenix Swings. Oh, da -da 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 -da. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what to spoil. She was the key all along, so she was like the all along, guys. Um, I don't know. Go. It was a five out of ten. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. There, there was fighting. There was my favorite. Okay, so, I just don't know. There was fighting, and there was a there was a there was a dancing strip club with mox called Moxies, and there was uh, they drove through a beast and put drove through it and sh shot missiles out of it. Ah, yay! I don't know. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, did I give Umbrella Academy? Unfortunately, this is tied up for what I thought Umbrella Academy was. Umbrella Academy, Umbrella Academy, Umbrella Academy season four is tied with this. Whoopee! Um, I don't know. I can't really, unfortunately, give either one a higher or lower score. I can't. I don't know. Both, both for meh. Now I love Umbrella Academy the entire show. Just the ending was kind of just didn't do it for me. But this was something else so wasn't the best wasn't the worst it was five out of ten and i really have nothing else to say if you really would like to know more though um on anything else if you've seen it ask me a question down below i wish i could tell you more i really just don't know great fighting interesting acting best part was ariana greenblatt love the mad max style love the landscaping love the video game this universe I love the style of it. Like I said, I love the style of it. Would watch again because of Air on a Green Lat and what what all the fighting in it. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like, John, like okay, my friend. I would love to meet him. Sean Chandler. I want to put this in here. Says it's like a Taco Bell movie. I was watching this going. This feels like a Taco Bell movie. Like he says, like Jurassic World, Godzilla versus Kong, or like Taco Bell movies, right? This felt like a Taco Bell movie. This felt like you know when I watch Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, it feels like the bad. If this feels like a bad Transformers movie. Um, like by, like by, um, not James Bond, um, who, who's the guy, Michael Bay, it feels like, like a Transformers, like Michael Bay movie in a video game universe, I don't know, it kind of felt like that, like, this is like a bad movie that I really watch again, you know when, um, you know when, um, Artemis Fowl came out and how bad that was, this feels like a movie I rewatch way more than Artemis Fowl. Because I was expecting, like, Artemis Fowl was edited very strangely and poorly and weird. This didn't feel edited weird. It just felt like the story was all over the place. But the fighting was good, and I enjoyed it for the style that it had. So that's what I'm going to say. Thanks for watching this review. Not very spoilery, but thank you for watching nonetheless. Hope you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, Lego Dude 11, as it stays right now. And don't forget to follow me over at Instagram, Boba Fitch and Master. Links down below as well. If you like, subscribe, follow me. Keep calm, play, go watch stuff. Peace out, everyone. Bye.